Hey guys, welcome back to Megan Grace DIY. Today's tutorial is going to show you up close and personal how to properly thread your sewing machine. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be using a Singer Heavy Duty 4423 sewing machine. What I want to point out before we start is that once you've learned how to thread one type of sewing machine, you can pretty much thread any other type of sewing machine. They're all threaded in basically the same way, even though they may look different. Almost all sewing machines come with either numbers that show you in which direction to thread the machine or arrows like you can see here next to the number four, showing you which direction the thread is to go next. We're gonna start at the top of the machine and take our thread and slide it onto the thread holder. Then we're gonna secure it in place with the thread cap. This is a view from the top of the machine looking down. Take your thread in both hands. You're gonna remain holding the thread with your right hand. This silver knob is used only for threading bobbins, so we won't be using it today. Find the number one and gently slide the thread into the thread guide, and then do the same with number two. Then bring the thread forward down the front of the machine. See the arrow pointing down? That tells you what direction to bring your thread. Now you're gonna take your thread and loop it around number four, and then bring your thread back up to the top. Once you come back up to the top, you're gonna to encounter a piece of the machine I call the pelican head, which should be sticking out of the top of the machine. You're going to bring your thread behind the pelican head and then pull it forward and feel it click into the opening. Then bring the thread back down the front of the machine. Next, we're gonna slide our thread through the opening labeled number six, and guide our thread underneath the thread guide. We're gonna slide our thread underneath the needle thread guide. You can do this by taking the thread and putting it above the guide and then sliding it to the right and then underneath the piece of wire. Next is everyone's most dreaded part, threading the needle. You can either wet the tip of the thread or cut it to make sure it's not frayed in any way. In this machine, we thread the needle from front to back. I push it through and then I pull the thread all the way through with my other hand. Once our top thread is done, you're gonna go ahead and put your bobbin in. Your bobbin's gonna live in something called the bobbin housing. This machine has a top drop-down model, but some machines will have you reach underneath it to put the bobbin in from the side. Before you drop your bobbin in, make sure your thread is stringing off to the left. We wanna make sure it's spinning the right direction. Go ahead and place your bobbin into the bobbin housing. Take the thread and pull it in front of the first groove in the bobbin housing. You should be able to slide the thread underneath it and you'll feel a gentle click when it's in the right place. And now it's time to go fishing. You're gonna hold your top thread in your left hand. Take the hand wheel on the outside of the machine and turn the needle to go down and up once. As you can see here, it scoops the bobbin thread up and when you pull the top thread, a little loop will appear. Pull that loop through and make sure your thread doesn't have any tangles. I'm gonna replace the bobbin cover and then I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna push it through the slit in the presser foot and push it towards the back of the machine. And now we're gonna take her for a test run. I'm leaving the sound on in this clip because I want you to hear how you don't hear any catching or pulling or grinding as I'm sewing. I'm gonna pull my sample out from under the machine, and as you can see, I have very nice, even, clean stitches. I'm gonna quickly review the top from a farther away angle. We're placing our thread on the thread holder and then placing the thread cap on top of it. I'm gonna hold my thread with my right hand and guide it with my left hand, sliding under steps one and two, bringing it forward for step three, looping around the bottom for step four, coming back up to the top for step five, sliding into the pelican head, letting it click, bringing it back down towards the front. I'm sliding the thread back into the machine towards the guide that's under step six, and I can finish threading the top by sliding it into the guide that's right above the needle and then threading the needle. And that's how you thread a sewing machine. I hope I was able to give you some very clear directions and some really good visuals on exactly how to make sure your sewing machine is threaded properly. For more information on exactly how to use your sewing machine, don't forget to check out my video, How to Use a Sewing Machine. That's gonna be all for today's tutorial. I just wanna remind you, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or ideas for new tutorials, please feel free to put them below in the comments. Happy sewing!